happened when we first got here. So on the way here, we get all the way up here. It wasn't like a super long drive. It was like an hour and 10 minutes or so. As Tori's checking in, I jump out of the truck to turn on our uh, level mate. And I look in the back seat and there's throw up over the seat. So I'm yep. like, awesome. We made it all the way here. And now, you know, this is our first time camping with electric only. We don't have any water hookups <laughs> or sewer hookups. So I'm like, great, we gotta spray down. Like we have one of those covers. Yes. Yes, the seat cover totally saved us there. Dee is a pro at waiting until we are right at our final destination and then just throwing up everywhere. Yep. So in the first two hours that we were here, not only did we have that happen, but the ranger also warned me that there's a ton of bears around here. So we got this nice bear aware pamphlet that we were reading through. Did you know bears could go 35 miles per hour? Cause I sure did not. Yeah. We're gonna have a fire for the rest of the night and just kind of chill out and tomorrow look at some hiking and maybe go on the lake. Yeah. So we'll hang out, we'll see you guys later. Good morning. We had a really good night. Sat by the fire. Watched uh, the office and the camper late at night. There's little Miss Tori. So, made some nice breakfast this morning. Um, eggs, bacon. I had mine on a bagel. I need my carbs. And uh, now we're going on a nice hike. Hike's trail is called Shades of Death. Ooh, Ooh right? Ooh. A little scary. But, uh, I don't know, we heard it's it's fairly mild, so we'll we'll see. See these yellow swatches on the trees? Tori and I, see I think it's important to share the good and the bad stories, but uh, Tori and I got lost for a while because oh, yeah. we weren't paying okay. attention, so. Yeah, well, yeah. But we are, now we are paying attention, we're back on track. Yeah. Really nice, really nice scenery. Yeah. And, um, it's really nice, not too bad today, weather-wise. Yeah. So, yeah. keep on moving. Deciding we were done hiking for the day, and maybe forever, we decided to head over to Boulder Field. Boulder Field is a bit of a mystery and perhaps the most unique attraction at Hickory Run State Park. Most theories surrounding the 18-acre bed of rocks suggest that it was formed during the last ice age. Regardless of how it was formed, it is an absolute sight to behold. To get to Boulder Field by car, you should know that you have to take a very narrow and long dirt road that is mostly one way. We visited mid-afternoon on a Saturday and it was pretty crowded. So this one might be one to do first thing in the morning if you're looking for the perfect photo op. Well, we're here at Boulder Field. We took the, we drove. We didn't do the six mile hike. After the hike this morning, no way. Now, Frank, would you say that this place rocks? I'd say it rocks, yeah. Yeah, we're kind of rounding off 
our day here before we go back to camp and make some dinner and relax a little bit. <laughs> uh, but yeah, kind of wanted to show you what it's all about. Back at the campsite after a quick dinner, we hung out with the dogs, Mac jumped up on the table a bunch of times to show off, and we enjoyed another campfire in the cool summer air. Sunday, the last day here at the campsite. As you can hear, I'm pretty sure that's thunder or wind. It's a little bit rainy, a little bit overcast, a little bit drizzly. Uh, so we're gonna chill out for a little bit, kind of wake up, and then we're probably just gonna. appeared to be moving pretty quick so we hurry up and packed up camp. The dogs helped me clean up the inside while Frank took care of everything on the outside. As you can see as we drove home, we drove through some pretty crazy rains and saw some really awesome clouds. Hickory Run was our first experience camping in a Pennsylvania State Park and we couldn't have been more impressed. Clean facilities, plenty to do, and a nice praise point made this one of our favorite campsites so far. If you're interested in camping at Hickory Run State Park, the link is in the description below. As always, thank you so much for camping with us. And if you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button and we promise we'll let you ride shotgun on the next trip. Until next time.